everyone. Hello. Welcome back to the show. It is Wednesday. Tanner's back. I'm, I'm back. Where have I been? <laughs> Everyone's been asking. They're like, where's Tanner? We're like, it was just an accident. Yeah, it really, <laughs> it like really it just was. landed that way. I but did. Well, I, I went live day before yesterday. Oh yeah, you did. I guess because you weren't on like yes, our project lives. Yes, 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 so yes. So they were missing But we you. have been traveling. Yeah, you we're, guys were. We're back to a little travel. Feels a little weird. I'm Feels sure it really does. good. We kind of been sick too. Well, I think y'all were sick from traveling. I think <laughs> oh, it was like hundred percent. Even 100%. Lauren, Lauren came back sick for like a day, and then she. I was telling Tanner, I was like, she just whiffed it. Yeah. Like she, she was fine. Before, she was sick before lunch and fine after lunch. It's She's amazing. like, I, I don't have time to be sick right now. <laughs> well, today's project <laughs> is going to be absolutely amazing because yes. we are testing out the Starcraft um, Electrofoil. And My favorite. It's really wild. Yeah. Have you? I mean, the, putting it on with the heat transfer vinyl onto a shirt, game changer. Y'all, this project you're going to absolutely want to make, like if you don't already have the mm -hmm. material, you're probably going to want to pick some up. It's going to elevate your projects. And I'm really excited to just kind of talk through and review with you all today um, the difference between my opinion of like foil HTV yes. and this process. Because yeah. it's very different. It is. Um, and I think you'll be really, really impressed with how this all comes together. Even We're, the design space portion of this oh is my like gosh. really gold. Like, yeah. even if you don't want to use electrofoil, if you don't have electrofoil, you can do this design space portion and cut it out of HTV it's and like really, be good. Yeah, it's so. really good. We're gonna teach you a little bit more about how we use glyphs and how we as a team use the glyphs inside of our craft projects, mm -hmm. just to kind of teach you how to use them in yours too. Yeah, Because I think they're underrated. Oh, they are, and they're, I love them, but I forget. Right, I forget me too. That they're there. Me too. I'm like, dang, I wish we I knew. We put them there. <laughs> I know, I know. And so sometimes, actually, the other day, me and Lauren, it was yesterday in the lab, we were yeah. looking um, at a new font that we have, and I was like, I know there's glyphs. Go look for them. And there was, and they were Ooh. so good. And they're I, like little Easter eggs. I know, they really are. They really are. And we put out a video showing people how to yes. find the glyphs. So if you guys haven't watched that, make sure after the live you go and watch that. Yes. Uh, but we're going to give you a little tutorial. A little, a little sneak peek of how you could look yeah. at them to see if any of your favorite fonts has them. Today we're using the font Saturday Night. Is it Saturday Night? Yeah. No. Top, it's like top five of my favorite fonts. Oh, it's a really good one. You're yeah. going to love it. So that's what we're working with today. So if you haven't downloaded it and you're a member of Makers Gonna Learn, go download it while we're mm -hmm. while we're on the show today. It's going to be so good. Our show today actually um, accidentally was unlisted. So now it is public. So if anyone's tuning in late, hello. I hope Hi. you're doing well. I hope you all are getting your notifications because this was not on the schedule <laughs> um, but we're glad that you all are here hanging out with us yes. and on top of all of the goodness we're going to do today i have a webinar coming up uh, coming up on sunday mm -hmm. or next wednesday yes very pick exciting your favorite stuff. it is the five secrets to making money crafting even if you haven't sold before it's mm -hmm. some of my favorite curriculum to teach People um, love. People it was love it. So very much inspirational. Fun. I very think. good. It gives. It really helps anyone that's curious about selling their crafts set a vision for like what they could expect to achieve in the right. first few months. Kind of like what I personally would do if I was you mm -hmm. um, to make that pivot. Yeah. Because a lot of us like to craft for ourselves, for friends, mm -hmm. and we may be doing it for free, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, but like how to how to pivot out of like. Hey, my kids, you know, Halloween costume, I need help, mm -hmm. like, and actually approach it from a real standpoint. So I think I you'll enjoy that. it. So get registered if you haven't already. Yeah. I did a live uh, two days ago that was also really, really good. There was already people getting transformed from that live um, yes. in its own. And That's at crazy. the end of that, I pulled up my two sticky notes of my notes. And I said, y'all, if I could wow you with this live stream and two sticky notes, imagine what... I could do if I have an hour of your time. Right. I get to, you know, bring a deck. I've taught this class 25 times. I change it literally every single time. You're like adding, removing, yeah. changing. Yeah, that, just that's great. making it better over and over again. It's so that's awesome. That's what we like to see around yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, so we love it. Yay! Gail will be there Yay, on Gail. Sunday. Oh my gosh. Yay. Steffi, we are downloading the Saturday Night font. That's what we're working with today. We're going to kind of multiple projects in one in a it way. Is, it is. The design space portion of today's show is gold, mm -hmm. like Alicia was saying. It really is. And then after that, we're going to take it a step further by challenging ourselves with our project, mm -hmm. as always. 
and then we're going to use some electrofoil from StarCraft. I'm excited. If y'all haven't used electrofoil, it's not heat transfer vinyl. It's not even vinyl. It's um, it's like really thin, dainty aluminum foil. Oh, it's it's just really thin. It's really thin. Well, it's not dainty. It's not delicate. It's tough, yeah. but it's thin. I don't know. You guys. What else have you used with it? Have you used it for anything specific? Um, vellum stickers. That was um, so cool. Clear stickers. Actually, we need to make a video for you all because we perfected that. Yes. We had an issue on the live with it, but we figured it out. And then, what else have we used it for? I used it for, we a, use it for a lot. Yeah. Volleyball shirts. Oh, go Queen Cobras. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but we, lo I mean, I, I love to use it, and you can use it for lots of different mediums yeah. too. So, well, it's very gonna be great. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, there's a lot to get into. So, let's go ahead and head over to the craft table. Let's do and it. What we're going to do? Oh, Sue says like gold leaf. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes. Um, it is so so good. It doesn't um, pull apart like gold leaf, but it looks like gold. Yeah. Leaf. Yeah, yeah, it has the it has that effect. So if we go overhead, we can kind of take a look at all the supplies we're using, everything we have here. Um, today's project, we opted to do just the mini easy press. You can do this project with a full heat press. You can do this project with a regular easy press. We're using the mini today, so that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, we're using the easy press mat, whatever size you want. If you have a big heat press, this is not needed. Um, we are also using this is like some butcher's paper. We're going to use this kind of like our Teflon sheet today. So we just are going to use this to protect the foil um, and the uh, material if needed. We just like to have some things here depending on how we feel. This is actually the foil. So let's take a look at this. So, Ooh, woo, so pretty. So like listen at the noise. Like you can feel it's very, very thin. It's very, very um you know specific so mm -hmm. it's just really interesting medium um that you may not be accustomed to working with so we want you to feel really confident about that today and what i also want to share with you that we're going to use incorporation of this is the um caesar um help me out with easy this weed adhesive yes the caesar easy mouthful. weed adhesive yeah it really is um so this is what you'd have to have in partnership. So if you're ordering from 143 Vinyl, you're going to want to get the StarCraft Electrofoil in your favorite colors, and then you're going to need the Caesar Easy Weed adhesive, adhesive. <laughs> vinyl. <laughs> vinyl. So what yeah. will happen is we're going to put this down first, okay? Just like this cuts, weeds, applies just like our vinyl today. And then after all that's down, we're pretty much going to come in and activate this cut material on here. Mm -hmm. It sounds a little bit um, in, like confusing or extra steps. Have no fear. We're going to work on it together. It's like the glue that holds it together yes. is really, and also I put heat transfer tape up there. You don't need it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to throw that over here. <laughs> there for moral support. <laughs> You're good. Um, and then we also have a weeding tool. Of course, we have a t-shirt and a tape measure just to make sure we know what size we want to do. But while we're overhead, let's take a look at our shirt. So as you can see, we are using four different colors. We have, you know, the blue. This is the actual foil. The second mama on here is the foil. And this is the first debut of the font, Saturday Night. Love it. Love it. So you can see the foil looks so cool, so interesting. And then we're also using green and, you know, um, the little uh, salmon or whatever color you want to refer to this. But again, so you get to pick your three favorite HTVs. This is where we're going to apply our adhesive um, HTV that's clear. Mm -hmm. So you won't be able to see it, okay? You won't be able to see this right here, um, which is awesome. And then you will add in your favorite foil. And we're going to, again, walk you through our whole process to make sure this foil does not stick to any other color HTV or anything like that because we want it to just stick to our, our clear here. So we have a lot of tips for you today. I think you're gonna be really impressed with this project. So yes. let's head over and take a look at Cricut Design Space. Here is our project today. Um, this is what we're doing. And this is what it's gonna look like at the very end. Right, right. So right. I like to start here when I'm teaching Design Space because I truly believe once you see where you're going, you're gonna be able to get there even easier for sure and i do want to just preference this entire video 
with if you are not used to working in Cricut design space, please, please, please grab one of our memberships here. We have a membership site, makersgonnalearn.com. Over there, we'll teach you everything you need to know about this software. We're gonna teach you how to use it, how to make the projects you want. After you join, you're gonna get our 30 days to, um, to our Cricut Master. challenge. <laughs> yes, words are hard today. Um, so you're gonna get that challenge, and what you're going to do is you're gonna be able to learn all the basics. Today's video, I'm probably going to teach on a little bit faster speed. So if you're a newbie, definitely join the membership for that specifically. So Belinda says, do you have to download the fonts on each device? Where's there a way to access on all devices? So Belinda, that's a great question. So when you're over here on the font area and we search Saturday night, you're going to notice that we are actually downloading this font to the specific device we are on. So we do have to download it for every device we own if we're mm -hmm. using Design Space on different um, devices and things like that. So um, yeah, it's good to know and it's kind of good to have a little list of your favorite fonts. So for me, like I always, I get a new computer, I get a new device, I'm putting um, Barefoot Joanna on there as like a safety net. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. Um, so that's a good that note so to funny. have. Yeah, I love Listen, it. Listen, Saturday Night and Groovy Moves are like that for me. Groovy yeah, moves Groovy Moves is, is your font. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, I yeah. love it. So you would just download it. And if you've never been able to, you know, download a font before, let me just walk you through that. You press the download button after you join. Then you take that zip file. And then what you're going to do is see that file already selected. You're going to double click it and you would click install font. Now we already installed it. So what we're going to do here, so we'll come back to our font book later. Um, over in Design Space, here's where you're going to finish. And then over here is where you're going to kind of um, the middle. I would call this. Mm -hmm. This is like when you get to the middle. So this is like when you know you're getting to where you want to be. Um, and then we're going to start from square one. Isn't that going to be fun? Are yes. you guys super excited? Let's, I'm excited. Me too. Let's do it. So here on the text box, let's open it and look what's open. Groovy, Groovy moves. <laughs> we're going to change that out and we're going to search for Saturday. Um, and as you can see, nothing comes up. So this is something that a lot of you may be experiencing. So what you need to do is after you know you've downloaded the font, if Design Space is open, you must restart Design Space, step one. But step two, you need to go from the Cricut font exclusive and come over here to System. Do you see in the middle of your screen where I have System selected? Let's press System and you're gonna see Saturday night. There it is. Ooh, look at this. This T, I mean, is That's extra. A good tea. It is That's good. A good one. <laughs> yeah. So we're just gonna type mama. Okay. Mama. So mama. Um, there you have it. And what we're going to do for this project specific is we're going to change out the M and we're gonna change out the A. So that's kind of what we're going to do here today. And let me share with you how we personally do it here at Makers Gonna Learn. So this is what Mama originally looked like. And if we come real fast over to the overhead camera, let's take a look at what the um, shirt looks like. Do you guys see that? You so can pretty. see it looks totally different mm -hmm. because what we're doing is we are changing out these letters. So let's hop back over to the share screen and I'm going to open an area of your computer you may not know exists. Do you know the name for PC? Um, character map. Character map. Yes. So if you're on a PC, mm -hmm. open up your character map. Yep. If you're on a Macintosh or a Mac or anything like that, open up your font book. Search in the search bar for your Saturday night font. If you look here, you can see, you know, we have 244 fonts downloaded. That's a lot. Crazy, a yeah. lot of fonts. So you'll scroll through 
the Saturday night font. And you're going to see there are so many, so many different so, things. I love those big, fancy, like it's so, reminds me of those vintage uh, pennant flags. Yes. Where you can do like the sports name. And oh my it's gosh. Like a long... Yeah, this B right here has yeah. like that B and it has this big one. Like I could do my last name, Belle. Yeah. Like that would be cool. I love that. Yeah, it's really neat. So they're all super unique. So once you come to the one you want to use, here's the A that we're going to use. You select it. You'll know it's selected by it being blue. So when you're there, you're going to come up here to edit and copy. So once you're there, you're going to press copy and then come back over to design space. So see, we're going to select this and we're actually going to take away our last A now and we're going to paste in our new A. Boom. Beautiful. Boom. I Easy peasy, it. lemon squeezy. So cute. Love it. Okay, now we don't lock this M. It's too extra for us. We're we letting need a the lowercase. A. Yeah, we're, we're getting the the other M. Yeah. So we'll be able to now scroll through and find our M. Mm -hmm. So this is where you get to have a little fun. <laughs> and you can see all of the different kinds. Yeah. There's even ones that have the thing, the wispy that goes back. Ooh. So you can like okay. underline it. Like <gasps> go oh, balls look, or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh cute. my gosh. Like the K has it right here. Yeah. Oh, y'all take the fear out of my projects, guys. That is why we show oh, up. That yes. is what we're here for. And I will say, we did. Um, I did an in-depth tutorial on how to do this, like yes. a filmed video for you all. So if we finish our project and you're like, I want to know more about glyphs, especially if you're a Windows user, um, you can go to that video and check out how to do it exactly using a Windows yeah. computer. Because I cover Mac and Windows in that video. <sighs> Alicia's is extra. She's giving you all everything you need. Giving it all. I love it. All right. So this is what it looks like now. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Allison, is there a way to tell which makers to learn fonts have gifts like this without having to look at each one? Um, honestly, there, I don't know that I there's a real like, true way to do it. Did we create a resource for it? If not, we'll have to look into making just We've a resource. We've talked about doing that. Um, yeah. My best advice is that when you download a font, you can see whenever you download a font, it yeah. automatically will take you to your font book. Yes. So you can scroll back and see. And if you just want to make yourself a little ongoing list of fonts yeah. that have glyphs and have on hand, Saturday it's hard for night me to remember. Yeah, so go ahead, <laughs> put it at the top of the list. Saturday night has oh, it. And Tanner, it. is that the M that we used? No. It's not. So oh my gosh. See. I literally. I was like, I don't know if that's the I one. I literally just got, I, I didn't even pay attention. Which one even is it? It's right it? here. Oh, there it is. I'm okay. so funny. I was look like, at me. <laughs> we need a more extra M. Yeah, we gotta be extra. All right, so look at this. Boom. Gorgeous. Boom, 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 boom. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. I love it. So, as you can see right here, we've got all our letters touching, but we don't have the M as close as I would like to see. Okay? So what I would recommend you do is just go ahead to ungroup and we're going to just manually, just manually move this closer. Yes. So ta-da! So there's that. And now that it's closer, what we're actually going to do is we're going to weld all this together. Yeah. We're going to select all of our layers. And if you've never seen welding happen, look to our right hand sidebar with our layers panel and you'll see there's four different layers. When we press weld, guys, look what happens. Even the, le the letters that are not touching are still going to be welded together. So like all of these letters, A, M, A, will be welded together, mm -hmm. but the M is still part of that welding, even though they're not actually touching. Welding so, is like marriage form in yeah. design space. Yes, You're marrying exactly. everything together, it's permanent. Can't undo it. Right. No easy way. Um, so now that you're here, you're going to, is this, do, do you approve of me doing the offset now? Um, right. I'm going to say yes. Like, yes. I think so in the, yeah, the best I think, way. I think, and if not, we can go we back. We can go back. So what we're doing <clears> here, <throat> and I like to talk through um, the strategy just so you guys can understand what we're doing, mm -hmm. but we're going to do mama four times. Right. So I want to do all the work I can to one before duplicating. Yeah. So here, we're going to go ahead and add the slightest offset. 
a 0.25 offset is going to be too much. I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring this down. We're going to bring it down. I mean, we want a little bitty one. Little baby. Like, I'm trying to remember, Belinda, if I included the iPad in that font video. I want to say I did because I have an iPad. Yes. Sadie, do you remember? Sadie was there. I might yeah. have done it. Yeah. I think so. so. Um, and if you all are looking for it right now and you're on your Mac, go to your finder and search font book. Mm. And it'll and all your glyphs will be there. If you go to Saturday, Saturday Night Live in your font book, your your glyphs will be right there. So I saw a couple of people were asking about how to find them because we kind of just like right, that. right. Um, and then I was telling Windows users to go back and watch that video because it's I love it. It's more detailed. All right, so we are choosing point one 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 for this. So it's pretty <laughs> little. I didn't want to go any smaller than this, and I'll tell you why. So if you go smaller, your inside A's and things like that become like have to weed and things. This yeah. is a pretty basic um, and small one. So we're going to press apply. And now you see you have the offset right here. Love it. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this three times. One, two. Oh, guess what Tanner did wrong. <laughs> we Tanner, just duplicated the offset. Tanner didn't have all the layers selected. <laughs> so select all, both of your layers. You'll see there's two now, and you're going to duplicate one, and then since we're, you know, yes. we're just going to move these down ourselves. One, you don't want them two. to be touching just so you can we dig Touch through the, the layers. Right. Yeah, yeah. So look at what we're doing. Okay, so they're not touching, not touching. Kaiser the Fox signed up for the webinar Sunday and joined with the free trial. After Yay. looking around, I'm definitely going to be a permanent member. Yay! Woohoo! You're going to so love, exciting. love, love, love it here. Yeah. Right? Like you're, it's, it's a good the best. Time. It's we're we love it. I mean, but we're we're partial. We're probably, we <laughs> we're are a little partial. partial. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do now, and sometimes for me when I'm like, okay, what the heck am I even doing here? Come back to the video. Like when you're doing the work of a project, come back to our video. Because then again, up here, we have, you know, some of our samples. So we're like, okay, this makes sense. We need to get mm -hmm. more to here. And looking at this, it reminds me like, you know what? Is mine really the right size? Like, can I do the offset more or is it too much? I think it's fine for our example, but you actually might have been better to do it a little bit smaller. So yeah. feel free to do it smaller than 0.11 if you, if you want. All right. Honestly, I think I've done one in like point one, which doesn't make it's that just much enough. of a difference. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I love that. So all right, so we have this here, and we're going to change the colors of our light gray. So you can just select this here, and we're going to start picking colors. So I'm going to pick um, like a like a salmon or like a a burnt brown. Um, so I could like do that one, and then see this is our offset for that and then we can click on this layer and it's the inner light gray and then we could go to like um, more of a peach if we want and then we could for this layer you know go to the next one and this could be our foil so for our foil I think I'm just gonna let that be white because mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna cut that in my um, my easy clear my easy we <laughs> my Caesar easy weed adhesive <laughs> It's so funny. I can't. I, I'm glad I don't have a gun to my head because I, I don't know if I can think of it. Um, and then we're going to do the blue. So, bada bing, bada boom. We got that here. Um, and you can see now this is better to have organized. Yes. And we have two webinars. So, there's right. one already, or one happening this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern, one happening Wednesday at, I'm not going to tell you the time. It's either one or four. I can look. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, so yeah, get registered for that. Even if you can't attend live, pick the one that you could attend live the most, mm -hmm. and then we'll send you a replay, but it's a limited replay. All right, so let's zoom in here. Jackie's asking about the purpose of the offset, but Tanner's about to show you all oh, how, what the use of the offset oh, oh, is. Oh, look at this. So we're going to bring these two together, and we're going to just line this up and... What do you think, Alicia? Like, do you like this? Yes. I like this. Yes, I think yeah. that that is great. Should I move the M over some? 
Like, do you like it more over here or more like this? Um, that looks good to me right there. Perfect. But I'm also at an angle, so. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, I just don't want it to, like, look too slanted. Like, you want it to right. line up raw. Yeah. So, you can just bring this up. Yeah, good. Those colors look good on screen. Yeah. That looks really good. All right. So, we're just bringing this up. Okay. Now, do you guys see? So, what we've done is we have kind of let our mama, the M, kind of slant into it, right, slanting down. So you can't even see a bunch of it, but it's there and it's mm -hmm. a good enough detail that you're gonna really see the wow factor here in a moment. Mm -hmm. And then what we did, the best note that I, we can give you is for the A, make sure the A piece isn't like getting too much into the A. So it's just like in the glyph. Right. Like that's what we want, okay? So now what we're going to do is we are going to um, walk you through the process of slicing. So look at this, this is our finished result. Okay, this is what we're going for, our finish. And we have to do a lot of slicing. So when you're slicing and dicing, right, you have to only work two layers at a time. So, mm -hmm. Alicia, what two layers would you start with if you were going to slice? I would start with Blue Mama. Mm -hmm. I would, first of all, delete the offset behind Blue Mama, and then I would start with... Yes. Because we don't even need it, right? So let's walk them through why they don't even need it. So that top Mama is not going to be slicing into any other of the layers. Right. So we put it there because we're showing you how to replicate of course. it. Of but course. you don't really need it. Oh, Lynn says if you're, wanting to, if you're wondering about joining the membership, do it. I learned so much. I do mostly Aww. resin, but watch them because I have I, I learned something every time. Yay. Yay! Oh, that's sweet. Love it. All right, so, so we're going to just hide this layer. We don't need her. Yeah, just hide it. And then I would do, I like to the, start from the top, work my yes. way down. So I would do the offset of the white mama mm -hmm. and the blue mama are going to be my I first love two this. choices. So this is a great example project to start going ahead and um, working from layers. So we're selecting our blue, and then we're going to select our black. And then remember, you can only um, slice two layers at a time. So this is going to be a little repetitive, but we're going to get what we want. So press slice, bada bing, bada boom. And then you can take this, drag it away. You can take this, drag it away. You can take this, drag it away. <gasps> There it is. There it is. That's the magic, everybody. Delete it. So look, now you have this the mama up top being able to see like things are coming together, right? Mm -hmm. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Yep. Um, so Kathy, if you are a member and you want to go VIP, email customer care. We'll hook you up. Yes. Um, thank you, thank you. So now we're going to select our white and we're going to do the same to the offset of our peach. Mm -hmm. So just like that, rinse and repeat. Now, before you move that, dun, dun, dun. you could technically select that offset layer, right? And then select the brown mama and slice those layers together. Whoa. Or would that be wrong? No, I think you could. I just like to make sure nobody's getting too many layers. Yeah, you're like right. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as there's extra layers, I think that's more confusion. It is. So you're right. We need it to is. delete it. Because now, Get it off the, now the project's coming together, right? Y'all, are y'all picking up? Good. Are y'all picking up what we're sitting down? Like, yes. this is good. This is good stuff. Um, we should charge for this. This should be in a <laughs> Maker You class. Free content, people. <laughs> yeah. I love that. We're going to do the good. last one. Bada bing, bada boom. Drag it. Drag it. And drag it. And Ooh, delete. She looks good. Look at this. So now this is your project. That's so it. So now that's it. Yeah. So now you'd measure it and just size it to the size you want, whatever size you want. You know, this is like 12 inches. I like to do a t-shirt at like eight and a half, mm -hmm. nine inches wide at the max. Um, so it is awesome, awesome. So this is the one we're actually going to work from, the one that we, that I just messed up. Um, this is the one we're working from. So you can see it's pretty large. I'm just gonna measure my shirt and just make sure I know what size. So, yep, we're gonna do nine inches. I'm just gonna size this down to nine inches wide. The best part is when you size this down, you're gonna be able to see that the rest of it kind of just comes together. <clears throat> so it's nine by eight. So, yay, super, super fun. 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to just delete out those. You're going to come over here, delete out these. All right. You know what? Should we do this one? Because it had a little bit more space. I like that one. I like I this it one. Out good. I think we should use okay, it. Okay, we're going to use it. Since we built this one, we're going to do the one we built together. Yeah. Um, so this will be fun. So we're going to see this here. And then what we're going to do is now that we're here, you are going to be able to go to make it and start cutting it out. But before we do that, we are going to um, address some questions. So yeah. number one, if you are asking about our VIP option of the webinar, this is something new we're doing. Um, we spend a lot of money investing in finding new people to attend our webinars. So this is a way that people that don't know who we are, what we do here, to kind of experience it for a really great deal. So if you're already a member and you're like, I want to experience some of the VIP options, there's a live Q&A call with me. So if you want to attend it um, and you're a member, just email customer care. They'll hook you up with that. Um, and it's super fun. Teresa says, y'all explain things so simple that an old gal like me can follow your instructions. <laughs> Teresa, you're young. Um, you're awesome. Do you still size them down for larger shirts? So Debbie, anything under, I would say an extra large, I follow the same size. Right. Like eight and a half for me is a shirt, the perfect shirt size. I agree. If you're working with an extra small or maybe a small, but medium, large, things like that, pretty standard for me to do mm -hmm. eight to nine inches. Um, love it, love it. There was another, okay, I'm lost, have to watch again on the offset and did you ice the offset slice it okay. so we only sliced we started with the top offset or the top regular text box and then you take this the offset of the second mm -hmm. i recommend rewinding watching from there because yeah. it's very heavily visual mm -hmm. all right so let's press make it you can see here we're going to start with our clear adhesive for all four of these mats, you know what we need to do? Mirror, 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 mirror. mirror. <laughs> all right, so let's go back up to number one. Let's go to continue. We're connecting to our machine. If yeah. I could turn it on. <laughs> let's I'm let excited, it think about it. I'm excited you all. I'm very excited. So Thanks is the webinar in a private group? That's a great question. So the webinar um, is at, in its private, um, it's in a private room that you have to sign up just for free via email to get the um, special link to the special room. It's not on YouTube. Yeah. It's not anywhere else. You have to register. And we've already had almost 3,000 people register. So don't miss what? out. What? Yeah, crazy. That's cray cray. cray, -cray. That's cray. awesome. So we're using the everyday iron on setting. It's letting us know to make sure to put this shiny side down. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We've talked all about our supplies. Hey, Sadie did our drawers for us. A true no way. Hero, a true oh hero. my gosh. Look at them. They I've look got, amazing. They do. I have so many mats. This is all so good. All the options. We put an option for everything. Thank you, Sadie. Woohoo. <laughs> It's been Save so the day. helpful. I've pulled into that drawer like three or four times last week. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut just a little bit off here. And this stuff, believe it or not, has a shiny and dull side, so that's perfect. Now, we have had some questions, why this material? And my question is, why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, so it works great. It's nice to have. It's very multi-purpose, um, and it's super, super cool. So if you are doing this, just like a typical project, you are going to put shiny side down onto the mat. Just like regular HTV. Just like regular, yeah. Just like regular. Tracy, if you have any questions, please email hi at makersgonnalearn.com and we will make sure to address them. We do yes. not want to feel like you didn't get a response from Yeah, us. Would, oh my goodness. We would love to answer any questions you have. Love it. Yeah, just follow up with us. You can also message our Facebook page sometimes mm -hmm. if you're, you didn't get a response via email. It could have went to spam, like our response to you could have right. went to spam. So be sure to let us know how we can help serve you. Um, and it's just measuring. And then we're going to get Measure to cutting. That. Boom. There boom, boom, boom. All right. So we're going to let that start. 
um, cutting. Now this is a great time to ask Q&A because we're going to do, you know, cut, weed, cut, weed, cut, weed. So this is a great time to start throwing up those questions um, yes. if you have any. Specifically about the webinar because <clears throat> oh, that's yeah. what we're excited about we're, right now. We're super excited. Or the material okay. or whatever. Whatever if you, you have. It, let's ask a question to you guys. So if you are a first time visitor of our channel, let us know in the comments. It'll drop me a hello, I'm new, or let me know where you're visiting from. Um, so we know that you're a newbie. I would love to give you a warm welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just got this material. Yay, that's awesome. I'm wondering how many of you all have used electric foil and you're here to like learn something yeah. new about it. Um, we played around with it. I, I didn't mention this earlier, but I used this on the cat scratch tumbler <gasps> method. I didn't perfect it yet, but you can certainly use electric foil on cat scratch. That's which awesome. Is cool. Yeah. So you can see here, it's the only part about this that's tricky is just knowing like where it cut. So I'm going to actually probably uh, cut this or weed this right on the mat so I don't have to do it any other way. But I do want to trim it real quick. But as you can see, it is tricky. Alicia, do you have any tricks that you found to be resourceful, helpful for you? Um, I try, I mean, I try to use the light, like the reflection yeah, of the I'm light doing. to see if you can see where the cut lines right, are. Right, 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 right. Um, or even you can refer back to design space to see how wide oh, it actually that. goes. Um, That's a great tip. But yes, I don't know. I mean, they have little light boards that you can weed with. This and we like make some of those. For yes, you. and I give a review, and I'm like, don't buy one. It's not. So worth unless it. you're using this a lot, I would not buy one. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never used one if it tells you anything. And you guys know how amazing Alicia is. So. Oh well, that's not what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean it. I can say that. I can say that. Oh, thanks. Look Look some people this. are saying they've never used foil, but I'm going to have to. Ooh, so yes. you can find all these foils on the 143 Vinyl website. They have so many so options, y'all. They've got like zebra print, um, patriotic. They've got um, an oil slick one that, that we purchased and I have not used yet, but I'm obsessed with it. It's so cool. Yeah, we love 143 Vinyl. Like. Mm -hmm. We work with them, but we also spend a lot of our own money there. Like, we love it. Oh, my gosh. It's the only place I'll buy vinyl. Yeah, I just can't. it's the best. Um, Kathy's asking, how much would we suggest pricing the floating memorial ornaments for? <sighs> you know? I, um, so, are you doing the same as we did, like, in our little tutorial? I saw yours on the Facebook page, Ooh. which turned out really good, by the way. It was love very that. beautiful. Um, I don't know. I would say you could probably do them for like 10 or 15, like between 10 and 15. Yeah. It depends on how long it took you to make it and all, you know, all definitely. the things. Exactly. Oh, Griff Moto, aka my husband. What? Uh, <laughs> he has an opinion. Baby powder helps to see the lines without hurting the stuff. He's seen it before. <laughs> has he true. been watching, has he been watching Cricket Hack videos? He watches, oh, he sends me like videos. So wait, 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 I'm one upping Trey. Oh, This okay, is actually okay. a really great tip. Everybody come to close, like come, <laughs> come to in, me. Come in, bring it in. Bring it in. He suggested baby powder, okay. but Trey, I hate to break it. This is clear, like it's like clear and white. So right. it would help some, but okay. do you want to know what would really help? What? Cocoa powder. Oh. Cocoa powder. I've never used cocoa powder. Yes, I've done it in a hack. It works so good. Oh my Trey, gosh. thanks for inspiring that, dude. It's, I know, that's cool. What a great guy. I didn't even think about that. What a great guy. Yeah, Look very, that's exciting. Fun, fun fact for the day, then. I love it. I like this screen name, like. Griff Moto. <laughs> oh, I get it. He's like a Griffith Moto. My, he loves motorcycles. He loves that's motorcycle awesome. fanatic. Um, okay, Alina, we're using the clear was the Caesar Easy Weed. Adhesive. I almost said it wrong, even though we said it 14 You said it so many times. We said it so many times. It's linked down below. Yes, it's in, everything's linked. All uh, right, I'll give you credit on that. <laughs> oh. oh, chalk. Someone said they use chalk. So oh, that's a good idea. Anything that you can like put on and dust off. The cocoa powder is not near as messy as you would think. I've tested it. I've done it. It's great. You just need like a tablespoon? Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, you just like can take some on your finger and just like oh. brush it in and then it'll only go in the lines because yeah. you don't want it to be like a mess. Okay. It's it's nifty. I'm going to have to try it yeah. next time. I love that. Okay, let's see. Lindsay Look said mic drop. Mic drop. drop. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. funny. Okay. Hey, Heather, how are you? What are y'all buying on prom day? Are y'all buying stuff for prom day? 
Have you bought anything? We bought baby stuff. I bought baby stuff. <laughs> I bought baby stuff. Too. We okay, honestly. So they just added this prom day, and I felt like personally, they just added it to add it. Like, I don't know. It makes it less exciting when you're doing it twenty times. Yeah, a year. like we just did it. And let me tell you, <laughs> I'm so proud. I, I say proud. I'm uh, like I was so proud of like our entire team for working so hard on the July prom day mm -hmm. that I felt like it wasn't. Like I didn't want to have to try to one up it or anything. Like we have, this is our season of busyness. Right. <laughs> like we are working really hard for you guys. Um. So, yeah, we didn't really cover a lot of prom day, yeah. but I think the other prom day was better. So, yeah. You Kristen know. says Starcraft, Starcraft heat transfer adhesive is white, so it makes it a little bit easier to see. Ooh. I'm wondering, we have a roll of random, I'm pretty sure it's adhesive, and it could be the Starcraft that you're talking about. It's out there, but I've never used it. Yeah, we have a and lot of material. This adhesive works so well for me. Like, if I find something that works really good, I do not like to change it. Y'all, I used Oracle 851 for like 10 years. Whoa. Until I transferred to StarCraft. 651. Or 651, yeah. Yeah. Until I transferred to StarCraft Stencil Vinyl because I use the same thing. I, it worked for me. Okay, have you ever used 631? Uh, is it blue? I use the blue stencil vinyl from Oracle, and I cannot. Well, so Oracle has three, pretty much three different grades of vinyl. Okay. Um, so like, six three one is their removable line. Six I did five not. one is a permanent, and the eight five one is like, like strong, strong, like can put on boats. Okay. Like you're using some like really. Maybe I'm using like eight three. Is there an eight three one? I can't remember. It's blue, like a true painter's yeah. tape blue. That's what I use. Yeah, I think for years. I think you're just using like the stencil one of that. Yeah, super so, cool. I mean, but now I'm on the Starcraft, the mint colored Starcraft Ooh. stencil vinyl is my rider. I love it. I love that vinyl. It's so I good. I love it. Okay. I bought the signature white Kindle. Oh my gosh! Oh. Let me know what you think about Kindles. I don't know if I could do it. I'm like, if I'm not reading the real paper, I'm just gonna listen to it on audio. Listen, I've said that too, and I downloaded the Scribed app. Yeah. And it's like basically a Spotify for books. And so you just go on the app and you can do any books that you want. Like, like you check it out? Yeah. You don't even, you just watch, listen to it. It's got audio books and it's got readable books. So I really Ooh, love Tanner, that. is it worth buying the workforce printer now or wait for Black Friday? Mm. How good of a deal is it? Tell us the discount off. Tell us the percentage or dollars off. And I'll, I'll give you our feedback because we are having... Kind of like an interesting sitch with our with our uh, workforce with our workforce unfortunately yeah. so we'll, we'll explain that oracle 813 is what i used for years cool yeah i could not figure out the number i always forget um right. reusable stencil vinyl i haven't used any reusable vinyl but you can do reusable mylar stencils which are pretty handy yeah all right so we're cutting our last layer guys we're almost to the best part of the we're video almost there would you like me to weed for you uh, I got it. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I gotta have something to do. Okay, I got you. All right. So we're gonna load this in. Okay. Lots of people are getting good Amazon. Ooh, deals. Yeah, tell us what else you bought. Somebody uh, got a Sony speaker for less than 40 for no Christmas way. gift. Ooh. I probably should start my Christmas shopping. Me too. I just forget it and it's like creeping up. Okay. I saw our Christmas from last year and I'd like I, I guess having babies is, like, you're just tired all the time. So, like, I just am putting everybody on notice. Like, everything they got for Christmas last year, I hope they enjoy it this year. I'm not even going to have time to, like... I hope you guys liked your presents last, last year because that's all you're getting. <laughs> Me and Courtney were like, yeah, not happening. That not happening. so funny. I mean, it was just so... You all should just do, like, a family trip or something. Oh, my gosh. Or, like, a joint family great? present. Yeah. Even... You know, like an experience, yeah. which I'm all, I'm all about the experience present life. Yes, I love it. Like, I love it. Cause, because otherwise you're going to have to, especially with kids, y'all know, you got to have to clean out all their toys and reorganize right. everything, which I'm not saying I'm I'm appreciative. Yes. But I think experiences are so fun. The problem is we do Christmas, it's a little excessive. It's not excessive. I actually really love it mm -hmm. growing up in a family, not really having a lot of other kids and things like that. Um, so we do Christmas, Courtney's family comes in, we host them, and then my grandparents, my mom, Courtney's family, 
which consists of her mom, her, par or her parents, her, her grandma, and her sister. And then my buddy Blake comes, and it's like a whole, a whole ordeal, whole thing, all our yeah. kiddos. Um, so it's kind of crazy. But yeah, so I would love to do a big trip, but everyone's schedule and things like it's that. It's hard to get everybody at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Did I just cut into No. I, I don't know. You're close, though. So I'm close. <laughs> yeah. You know that my dad's side of the family has, I have 11 great aunts and one great uncle, and everybody's kids and their kids' kids get together at no Three way. Springs Baptist Church in the that's amazing in the whole thing the fellowship and hall. oh yeah and we have like really good food Aww. and i would guarantee there's like 60 50 that's 60 awesome. maybe more people there i love that i love it that's super fun we were also talking about christmas traditions me and lauren Ooh. i think yesterday which what is really traditions weird. are yours we have a chinese christmas <gasps> but we do diy so everyone makes their gift you are literally a family of makers yeah i love well, it we are yeah most of us like to like draw or paint my dad yeah. built adirondack chairs for one me and my dad are go really hard for it me we have to like pump the can you announce what you're going to do this year um, I have two things. I'm either going to do something very simple, at, <laughs> like hot chocolate bombs. Okay. Or I'm going to make a really cool scroll saw lamp that I saw. It's like a three-dimensional hanging yeah. lamp that I really would like to make. I love it that. It depends on how much time I have. Though. So You're we'll awesome. <laughs> You're crazy cool. All right. So we have got all our layers. Now, I'm preheating my mini easy press to the second temperature setting. And then we're bringing in our shirt. And I'm getting it ready. We're using a Bella Canvas. Bella Canvas has a influencer program and my friend Auntie Tay is a member of it. And she posted a video at their offices once and it's super cool. So definitely Those check that out. Those are the best shirts. They're just yeah, so they're, they're incredible. We love them. So anyway, we have the shirt. So I have this here, but what we need to do in preparation for that is we need to go ahead and prep all of our layers a little bit more. So what I mean by that is I'm actually gonna take my scissors and I'm just going to trim as much as possible pretty much from this. Pretty much the bottom is the most important. Um, so I'm just go cut, 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 because you'll see why here in a second. Um, Sue says the workforce sometimes doesn't recognize the ink cartridges. You have to do a couple things for it to work again, like the type of paper you use to. Sue, mm -hmm. I spent last week working on our workforce yeah. because it wasn't recognizing our ink cartridges and I still haven't fixed it. Yeah. It's um, crazy. But once we figure it out, I have to figure it out because I need to tell you all how to do and it. And we love our workforce. Like it yes. does such great prints. It does so good, which we we have the sure color as a backup, thank God. And yeah. it works so good too, the Epson sure color, which if you don't know, is like a sublimation specific yes. printer. Um, it's magic. It automatically mirrors your image for yep. you. It has um, specific color settings, like print color yes. settings, um, which I really love for sublimation. Yes. Um, so, but the workforce that we're the workforce that we normally use is the seventy seven ten, and it's amazing. Normally, yeah. And, uh, it's just so what I ordered recently was a new wide format printer. And I think that's the one I'm going to be recommending now. We're, I mean, obviously, we're going to set it up, make sure it works great and things like that. Um, but what I like about it is that it is the EcoTank. So yeah. I think you're going to be really impressed with it. We'll have videos added to the course. If you're a maker who's going to sublimate, it is so good. We're adding 100 new exclusive files to that program this year. Um, so you're going to be really impressed with that. Cannot, cannot wait for you guys to get in there be awesome so you're just cutting around the yes clo as close to the edge as you can yes 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 okay okay and when you're picking your offset for this project um the more offset the easier this process will be right. FYI. that's why i went more than what we did just a original. little bit bigger yeah it's a little bit bigger just to, to make sure we have no craft fills we don't like craft fills here it, no it's gonna look so good though but you know what Everyone here loves a good craft fail. They do. Y'all love to see us troubleshoot things. <laughs> they just like to see us struggle, Alicia. That's <laughs> I try to think is. that they like to see it because it's relatable. Maybe. Like, is that why y'all like to see I us? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> if you were at the summit. Um... We all, I, I poured <laughs> an entire bottle of polyacrylic. polyacrylic on the table. An entire can. An entire can. That's why I mean, there was like this member. much left and it was a brand new can. <laughs> Yeah, it was a brand new camp. <laughs> we were like, 
Literally, there was four of us in here. Okay, Tanner it was the last it. day. It's like dead silence because we're laughing so hard. <laughs> it was the last day of retrograde. Okay, <laughs> it was the last day Mercury Mercury was in retrograde. Yeah. that's why I have it. Yeah, that's all it was. Okay, oh, that's so, so funny. Cut that out. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we're gonna lay this here. Super, super cool. Yeah. Now you can see like, oh my gosh, you need to cut this out a little bit better. I'll be like, okay, I can do that. So see, this is like really. Intense. Not intense. I guess that's the wrong word. It's so the serious. reason you're doing it this way. You're going to see. If, if you don't understand yet, you're going to see in a moment. Okay. But I'm yeah, you can you can walk through it. it too if you want. Well, I was just wondering, like, if you just went ahead and, uh, and put the mama on there. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you went ahead and put the mama on there and then peeled off the HTV or peeled off the transfer sheet. Right. And then you went to apply the clear, mm -hmm. you would just have to... Make sure to cover any exposed HTV before you applied heat again so it didn't melt it. Exactly. But that's why you're cutting it so close. <clears throat> that way you don't have yes. to go back and relay I it. I think there. this is the easiest way to do it. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, you may have a different opinion, everyone. But yeah, I think once you see this process come together, the foil could attack, attach to almost anything. Yeah. So you want to, you know, make sure that you pick the right things for it to attach to. Yes. So we'll show you all about it. It's looking good so far. Yay, 10 out of 10. Thanks. Does anyone have any more questions about yeah, the project or know. about the webinar? Anything? We are so excited for the webinar. It's so good. It's one mm -hmm. of my favorite trainings um, I get to do. And I always get to meet new people um, that don't even know who Maker's Gonna Learn is there. So. Um, yeah, you all that know who we are, what we do, you'll experience and enjoy it like 10 times more. Someone asked, is it true that Orca Vinyl does not have CPSIA in it? CPSIA. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, and I haven't heard that it has anything in it. So yeah. you'll have to enlighten us a little yeah. bit. Yeah, let us know. Uh, I stay up to date with like all the trends. So. Yeah, we try to, like, know what's going on in the craft, craft world most space. of the time. Yeah. Gail says, I basically need to put my knee-length hair up in a shower cap or it gets pressed under the HTV. Oh, Lord. Other people may get pet hair problems. I could totally see that yeah, happening. Yeah, me too. That's so funny. Okay. Um, Elena, we just got the Epson Sure Color 170. 170 yep. um, and it is a sublimation printer. It's amazing. So good. We love it. Yes. The Workforce so, 7210 is on Amazon for $5.29 right now. Oh. So if you guys are interested in the Epson Workforce. Wait, which one? The 7210. Is that a newer version of what we have? I'm assuming because we have the 7110. Yes. I'm assuming it's Okay, if it's only $500, like, I'm going to run there and grab one right now. <laughs> Let me see what it looks like. I want to see if it's, like, much yeah. different. Let's see Let here. us know. Alicia is going to be doing co-hosting, like, due diligence. I'm doing it. Here we go. Epson Workforce 7210. Are y'all dressing up for Halloween? I'm just thinking about it because... <laughs> what are you going to dress up as, Alicia? Um, so my baby's going to be a flamingo. Stop it. And Trey's going to be a tourist. It's like an inflatable tourist outfit. Sick. And I'm going to be Chiquita Banana. Or Carmen <laughs> Miranda, if you don't know who Chiquita Banana is. <laughs> okay. She's like a really old actress. Wow. All it's right. Like, so, we are now ready to heat this down, and it's going to be good. So, you just get ready. Um, okay, so the babies are going to be avocados. I know. I'm obsessed. I'm pumped. I'm obsessed with that. I cannot wait. Someone says the CPSIA is lead. So, Ooh. someone says there potentially could be lead in the Oracal. I'm not sure, but I can, like, I'll look around. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to my people. Your people talk to my people. people. There should not be lead in anything that's going out in 2022. It's 2022. <laughs> like, yeah, what's I, happening? I don't know. Like, there must be. Okay. The 7210 is, uh, we're the 7710. Yeah. The 7210 is not the same printer that we have. Okay. These... What, would it be, Would just from a quick look, do you think it could be sublimation ready? Uh, it's wide format okay. inkjet. Oh. I mean, I don't see why not. Okay. I don't see why not. Um, the our printer is not on sale that I'm seeing. Yeah, they. I think they just didn't like our printer, so they stopped making it. <laughs> it's here. It's just not it. on sale. Right. 
Okay. So how do you know that the the it's heated up enough? Oh my gosh, you know this is like my favorite thing. <laughs> okay, so if you've never used heat transfer vinyl, you'll know that it is transferred when you see the bubbles. The bubbles is the secret sauce with heat transfer vinyl. Mm -hmm. I'm loving the colors. Me too. I picked those out this morning. Did you like that I had these together? Mm -hmm. Okay, I yeah. was a little nervy. I like it. I was like, I don't want to mess up Alicia's vision. No, I love it. I think the whenever and if you all are, this is just like a little designer tip from Tell us. from me, unsolicited. You're unsolicited welcome. designer tips, please, <laughs> all day, please, Alicia. Um, so what I do when I what I did when I picked my colors, I first picked my electrofoil color because that's like the shiner, like that's the best one. Yeah. So I went with that rosy rose gold color, and then I was like, let me do some co two colors similar, and I went with a peach and that brown. So they're like in the same family. And then I picked one accent color I love to that. pop, which was the baby blue. Love so it. that can be like a way, like if you're wanting to do purple electrofoil, maybe do a light purple and a dark purple for one, two of the mamas, and then do like a lime green for the other Ooh. one. Or you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you want to do something that kind of makes it pop. So I love that. just a little designer tip. I lost my mic, so if you guys. Oh no. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do, now that we've got all these down, you can do a warm peel on this. Um, we're gonna make sure this is down really, really well. And this area in the corner, of course, needed extra little love. So we're gonna give that a second. And then we can kind of peel from this corner, make sure it's good. I was using the second setting of a mini easy press. So the middle setting. Mm -hmm. Great question. Great, great question. All right. So we peeled this one up. This is very important. Now check and say, is there any transfer tape blocking my design? My design I just peeled up the clear. For me, I have two spots that I need to cut a little piece off. So here's one. And you can probably see it better in real life. Like, yes, it's, it's like, very easy to see it in real life. I promise. Yeah, it's kind of shiny. So yeah. Okay. So here we go. I got my second. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this electrofoil. I'm going to cut me a good little piece off. You've never worked with this super fun. The big finale. The big finale. Here's our foil. Now you can do direct to it. Mm -hmm. You also can use a Teflon sheet or a butcher sheet. Let's see what it's like to go direct to the fabric. I'm gonna do a last check. Make sure all of it's exposed. Make sure everything's good. And then look at this. 15 seconds, medium heat. And you can see it. You'll see it adhere. Yeah. And you kind of, you don't want to be very like intense when you're pushing down. Like you just want to kind of smooth it out onto there. Right. And once it's heated up, do not touch it. Don't lift it up. It has to cool down completely or it will not stick. So I think it's going to be good though. It's going to look good. Oh, snap. So you could use the larger heat press for this if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, you could totally do that. We're using a mini today just to um, be able to be like a little bit more, like you get to see a little bit more of it. Yeah, I agree. And you can be more precise too. Yeah. Listen, if y'all are thinking about what Cricut tool do I need, a mini press. You need yes. a mini press. I use a mini press for literally everything. We love the mini I press. I use it once a day, no doubt. Yeah, easy. Easy once a day. Yeah, you can see it on camera. You can see oh, where yeah, it's like adhering. You can see, I mean, yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, it looks so good. So you want to just make sure you hit it for 15 seconds across the board. Notice how I'm like going and kind of in. I'm just like, oh my gosh. When should I stop Lauren? Or oh when gosh. should I stop Alicia? <laughs> I was thinking about Lauren because I'm like, if, if I mess this up, she's going to be so mad. 
Don't oh mess it gosh. up. She's probably watching right She's now. She's probably. That's good. That's good. So okay. then it needs to cool down. As long as it's This is a cold off, peel. Completely cold. Completely not cold peel. Not lukewarm. That's not like anything like that. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. The wash on these, you need to wait 24 hours before you wash them, and mm -hmm. you need to flip them inside out and wash them on cold. So Alicia was telling us earlier about her volleyball team has actually had some shirts with these. Yes. How has the wash been? Great. Great. It's held up to, it's like on there, y'all. It's like permanently on It there. is. It like, you're going to be really impressed. You can feel it even on the one we already made. You can just feel that it's permanent. It doesn't I mean, feel like it's going to peel off or anything. It feels very, it feels a little bit thinner than the foil HTV, honestly. Yeah, it really does. Like, you're, I mean, it just feels like permanent and mm -hmm. like solid and like, this is what it's going to look like. So, here's our sample. And then here's... I mean, it's still hot. Like, you can we're lay gonna... it on. Uh, did you lay it on the counter? No, not yet. Let's do that. That's the best. It is. That counter stays cold. So we're going to remove the easy press mat out of the way. Oh, my goodness. Awesome. Okay, well, real quick, how many of you got your diplomas? Oh, did you gosh. get your diplomas? I've been seeing them posted in the Facebook group. I love them in the Facebook so group. Cute. If you've not been through Maker University, you definitely need to take it. Our next opportunity to enroll. You guys are going to love it. Love it, love it, love mm -hmm. it. Um, so yeah, it'd be great. Okay. The foil is soft. Like it doesn't, it's very soft. It's pretty cold. Is it? Flip it over on its face for a second. Just to be extra sure. And you can't delicately pull it off either. No, this is a hard pull. A hard pull, hard cold peel. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. Is this it? <laughs> is this it? Just Boom. Wow. Boom. That looks so I good. I love it. Oh my gosh. Lauren is holy gonna be so cow. proud of you. Holy, holy, holy cow. The color in the lot is ever, are y'all getting this? Like, that is a whole mood right there. That wow. looks good. I'm very impressed. You get a wow. gold star for the day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. MVP this week. Oh my gosh. I'm not, <laughs> I've not peeled regular heat transfer vinyl. I had a cold peel in so long. It's so, like, you, you have to. you need to reheat it back up? No, it no, no, no. It's okay. fine. It's coming off great. I just hadn't done it in a while. All right, Tanner, are you kidding me? I'm just seeing it on the camera. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. I know. Is that not awesome? I'm obsessed I love this color it. down here, too. All the, these colors are great. The electrofoil pull is, like, the most nerve-wracking pull because you yeah. have to rip it off. Yeah. Have you seen people um, weed intricate cuts by ripping? I have. It's amazing. I cannot. My anxiety is <laughs> not here. Okay. That. What do you guys think? Let us know. Everyone's holy loving it. cow. Holy, holy cow. Like, this is amazing. So exciting. Like, if y'all aren't persuaded to go buy Electrofoil right now, yeah. I'm it took, it's we're right at an hour for the show, but I mean, 20 minutes probably was just us chatting and things like that. And now that you have the training, I mean, you're going to be able to make one of these. Super, super well. I love um, the it. The heat press is 15 seconds at... 305. Yeah. Yeah, so we used the second heat setting, so that was what worked great for us. Yeah. So, yeah, that is incredible. Love it, love it, love it. Everyone Yay! is loving it. That is awesome. Yes, Sadie just dropped the link to join the membership. So, if you're like, you know what? I fell in love with these guys today. I want to become a member. Click that link and I'll show you where it goes. So it goes to makerschoollearn.com slash join. This membership is going to be so amazing for you. We absolutely love, love, love it. Um, and here's what you're going to get. So come over here. You're going to want to go ahead and say yes to a year membership. Use the coupon code FALL or YouTube for $30 off. And you're going to get everything we have. You get the summit. You get all the courses. It's so, so good. You're going to love it. You can also go monthly, whichever one you prefer, um, and it's awesome. So we cannot wait for you to join. Once you join, you're going to get access to everything. Our courses, our 30-day challenge. I mean, it's so much fun. Now, let's go over here, and let me share with you um, at the link to get registered for the webinar. So this is our webinar sign-up page. If you are ready to get registered for the free workshop for crafters on how crafting can be profitable, um, you are going to be able to click reserve my seat and then what you're going to do is you're going to pick your day and time. You can do 4 p.m. on Wednesday or you can do Sunday at 9 p.m., whichever one, the 16th and the 19th. You enter in your credentials, bada -bing, bada -boom, 
and then you'll be registered for the webinar. So we cannot wait to have you there, uh, and it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Do not miss out on that. I mean, Alicia, I'm going to bring this over to you. I'm this is shocking. I'm wearing it tomorrow. It's amazing. I'm wearing it tomorrow. I'm going to wear it all day. What do you think? I'm obsessed with it. Oh. I, look at it. I love it. It looks so good just just in the lot. Like Yeah, it really does. Yeah. And like the colors look good together. Yeah. It's that is flawless. I love it. I, I, I think electrofoil is like your new I mean, it was really skill. fun. Guys, that was <laughs> it was a lot of fun being able to do it bring it together, I know. get to see the process. I mean, super exciting. So, it looks so What so do you guys good. think? Let us know in the comments. Megan said she's finishing up her purchase at 143. Go, Megan! <laughs> Woohoo! So, so funny. If y'all are looking for links, everything's linked in the description. Yeah. If you're wanting any of this stuff, it's so down there. Um, and yeah, we're so excited. If you missed the beginning, this will be on here so y'all yeah, can go can back watch and watch it. The design space portion, the hardest part mm -hmm. and then just getting the yeah. the artic like the mindset of cutting the transfer tape we don't do that a lot right um, so just do that because mm -hmm. i think that was the secret for me to feel comfortable to do it right i think so too and it was su obviously successful yeah it so. was great so what did you guys think let us know if you have any comments questions song dedication and or prayers <laughs> Um, before we head out for the day <laughs> my social studies teacher in sixth grade said that every like, day, every day. <laughs> Every day, it warmed my heart. I thought it was the funniest. And obviously, it was impactful. It was impactful. Right. Yeah, it was very impactful. That is so funny. He's so cool. It was like, yeah, he's great. <laughs> oh, I always use y'all's 143 link. So we love sweet. the support. We Thank do. Thank you. We, really we love it. Right. Making it today. Love your extra. Oh, yay. Thank you. We love it. We try. <laughs> oh, Heather says, please like the video, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. So much fun. Well, y'all, we cannot wait to be back here real soon mm -hmm. um, with another video. We have so many good videos coming out. I'm very excited. Like, we're bringing out our best. Like, yeah. the best titles, the best projects, the best inspiration, the best hacks, the best. Pushing the limits. We're Always. pushing the crappy Always. limits. Always. <laughs> we love it. I want to see you all try this. So, definitely yes. give it your best shot. Mm -hmm. We cannot wait to see what you think of Electrofoil. And we will see you back here at the Makers Learn YouTube channel really soon. In the meantime, register for your webinar. Yes. Sign up for membership. We can't wait to see you in there. And until the next time, we'll see you later, guys. Right. Bye.